Hello everyone, in this lecture we're going to learn how we can upload NFT assets metadata to Metaplex Candy Machine. So join me in your terminal or command line. We are going to use the following command to upload our assets and create a candy machine in one. Here we are using TypeScript node and we are entering into our Metaplex folder and using the candy machine command line interface. Then we're using the upload command. This is going to upload our assets and create a candy machine in one. So we're then adding in multiple lines with this backslash, but you can also just do this all on one line. We're specifying that we're going to be uploading our NFTs to DevNet, the development network. You can follow the same steps to upload to the main net. Then we are going to be passing in where is our key pair. Remember that is what we created earlier, which is the wallet that is going to contain our funds and allow us to sign our transactions. As well, we are going to here use CP followed by Metaplex config.json. This is the link to your configuration file for the project. And you have to make sure you pass in the proper location to where it exists. Next up, we can pass in example and the location of our assets folder, which contains our assets for the NFTs. Again, make sure that all of these locations are in the proper spot. Then you can hit enter to execute the command. Here, you're going to get your wallet public key and it's going to begin the upload for the 10 image and JSON pairs that we have. First, the candy machine command line interface will initialize a new candy machine. Then it will start the upload of the 10 items and you can follow your progress along the way. The more items that you have, the more NFTs you have, the longer it will take to upload. If your upload fails at any time, just redo the command, rerun the command by pressing the up arrow key. Upload is a network intensive command, especially when dealing with larger collections. So it, it does have the potential to fail multiple times, but you can just re-execute the command. It will resume from the point where it stopped for uploading your NFTs. So you can also see your progress as the upload is being performed. Currently, my NFTs are being uploaded to the development network. So give this a moment to complete. You can also use your own custom endpoint, your own RPC, because DevNet can be very popular and can be used by a lot of developers at one time. So that's why it has the potential to fail. So if you get your own RPC endpoint or your own connection point to the network, whether it's the DevNet, the testnet, or the mainnet, then you can have more reliable uploads and fewer failures. So if you do get a lot of failures, then consider using your own custom RPC. After waiting a couple minutes, we can see there was an error with one of the NFTs at index zero. So that can happen. If you get a successful equals false message, it means it wasn't a completely successful upload. So in that case, rerun the upload command by pressing the up arrow key and hitting enter. This will rerun the upload. And that's because if we do have one item that wasn't successfully uploaded, we need to rerun the whole upload, but it will only upload those items that have not been uploaded. So in this case, nine out of 10 items have been uploaded, which means that only one of my uploads failed due to the network connection. So I can just rerun the command to finish up that final item upload. So here we are uploading one item only this time, that one item that failed. And then we're writing all the indices for the one transaction. All right, so now we get done successful equals true. So we have been able to upload our NFT assets to the candy machine. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. 
We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.